Good afternoon YouTube, welcome back to the channel. This is just a quick update on the battery situation. So, I've gone and pulled the old battery out. I've discovered it's an AGM battery, an Amaron from India, which is a, you know, a decent brand. It's a decent Indian brand. But, you know, that's been fitted probably the best part of a year ago when the bike was built. We don't know how long it's been sitting on the shelf shipping to the uk all that type of thing i had to get it in a little bit of a hurry because we're coming up to christmas but i'll explain that as we go along now i'm doing this in such a hurry because it's raining guys but this is the new battery that i've already put back in here yeah now when you're taking the old one out you need you need to remove this um front plate here yeah it only takes 20 seconds as a bolt goes in through here yeah you see on this side there's a little lug so once you unbolt this you need to push this back ever so slightly and then pop it out the one thing i would say guys is this is an extremely tight job yeah if you've seen any of these uh, battery videos before you'll understand that this is very very tight and when you're taking the battery out you need to sort of angle it up a little bit pull it out and push it in this direction so that you're pushing the plastic out the reason you need to angle it up is the bottom end of the battery will actually catch on the frame here so you need to get it up at a decent angle to get it pulled out you don't necessarily need to do this guys but i've just pulled this wiring loom up out of the way here just for a couple of seconds and that's because you may have seen on a previous video that i installed this little battery tender on here so again i've just moved this back up to give myself enough space to sort of put this back together again now i'm just keeping all of this dry as we go it's raining it's not pouring down but I've got a little bit of WD-40 and stuff on this cloth just to try and throw off some of that water as I put this back together. Now remember, when you're taking a battery out, it's negative positive. When you're putting it back in, it's positive negative. Now, of course, they don't need to be bone dry, bone dry, because water gets into this all the time, yeah? But obviously, I don't want a wee short or a spark or anything <laughs> when I'm putting this back together. I've got a little bit of dialectic grease here as well. Again, you don't need it, but again, especially with this little bit of rain, it's not a bad idea to get that on the, the terminals as we go. You've got a little um, nut underneath here. Yeah, sometimes you've got to fiddle around a little bit just to get the bolt to, to catch that. That's why it's, it seems like I'm screwing forever there. <laughs> it's because I'm just missing that little bolt. Guys, when you're installing a new battery, it's a good idea to fit it with the bolts already in place because a little washer little sort of lead washer, I don't know if it's lead, but whatever the little washer is, remember that's loose. It takes a little bit of time for that to weld. So you don't want to put the battery in and then retrospectively try and fiddle about and put that in there. That's the point where you just want to be careful. Because <laughs> this is where you get sparks and stuff, you know, once you hook the two of these up. Anyway, let's just clean this, dry it up. Put this back together then i'm going to talk briefly about the battery that i've actually installed in here and if we look at this here little rubber part here this just allows your little relay just seats on there once we get that in and then we have a rubber grommet that goes over here and this actually mounts into there yeah and then we can tidy all of this up but let's put this on first and you'll see what i mean so there's a little rubber grommet that pushes up against the battery so if it feels like it's a little bit out don't worry about it but just double check you don't have any of these little wires or anything tucked behind the plate i mean it, it probably won't do too much harm but you don't really want them there <laughs> you want them out this side where there's a bit more free movement i've just hooked it back up on the little battery frame there yeah you don't really want it rattling around this little rubber housing just goes straight on the, the battery panel there your wiring loom just sits in there now guys if you followed the channel then you'll know that there's been a real saga with this battery here over the last month or so anyway finally got to the point where i couldn't even kick it over took it out of the bike had it on the charger for a considerable period of time the battery is completely dead this agm battery has run down just a little bit too far i've managed to recover it by you know putting it on the trickle but i didn't get it on that trickle charger early enough so guys the reason i ended up with this battery is a little bit of a last minute thing i must admit 
I was looking online and uh, the batteries are not going to be delivered until after Christmas. That's really no good to me because I need to get the bike up to Argyle this weekend. Then me and my brother are flying out to Bulgaria. I ended up having to get the battery from Europarts and Kilmarnock. So it was a little bit of a last minute thing. And I basically took what they had. The choice of two. It was a Lion battery and it was an X-Side battery, an AGM. So I just took this one. The only thing I'm slightly disappointed with is the fact it's 120 cca. I had been looking at batteries that you know had a little bit more cranking power than that but do you know what it'll have to do for now and i really just want to say thanks very much to everybody who gave me their advice and their input on batteries and you know checks on the bike i've been out here for about an hour and a half and really just to let the battery know that it's time to wake up now <laughs> yeah because this is the time that they really activate that first run you don't want to just leave it ticking over for 10 minutes get out and give it a good half an hour a good hour get up and down the bypass really warm up the new battery cells and stuff like that now when I get out to Bulgaria guys, it doesn't mean I'm taking a week off of YouTube or whatever I'm actually going to film a few vlogs out there. The plan is to rent a motorbike or rent something on two wheels at the very least Anyway, that's it for this one guys. I really hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below Maybe even hit that notification bell so you know the next time I upload a video to YouTube And I'll see you in the next one Absolutely beautiful.